What's up, guys? It's Gardy B with the Jenkins and Jones show. As always, I'm here with my good internet buddies, Dragonfly Jones, a.k.a. Tyler. What's up, guys? With Jethro Jenkins, a.k.a. John. What's up, Bubba's? And if you fuck with us, you want to see more of our content, please jump on YouTube and subscribe to our channel. Few things I've enjoyed in my internet Twitter.com experience more than watching every corner of Twitter unite to dunk on Aaron Rodgers uh, yesterday after he scored one touchdown against the 49ers, uh, one touchdown to be eliminated and most likely end his career with the Packers. Um, I am a 49ers fan. We are America's team. We've now beaten the Cowboys and Aaron Rodgers, which I feel like is tremendous. Tyler, can you, I don't even remember the last time Twitter was so united (laughs) in fucking talking shit about a professional athlete, bro. Boy, Twitter (laughs) lit Aaron Rodgers' ass up. It was, (laughs) it was unprecedented. Everyone united to get that motherfucker out of here. Like the names that I saw floating for him, like Breitbart Star and Rush Lambo. (laughs) And of course, Throw Rogan, you know, that's the classic. And and, and Tuck Rue Carson, like... Tucker no. Carson was uh, that ripped my stomach open. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were Carson. they got him the fuck out of here. And see, the thing is, th- the thing is what I I think everyone hates about Aaron Rodgers. I think you know there's a whole lot of anti-vax motherfuckers out here who don't get who do, don't get the heat that Aaron Rodgers had because Aaron Rodgers plays the whole oh they're out to get me and and I'm so much more intelligent than everyone else is and that's what rubs motherfuckers the wrong way you know what I'm saying because shut the fuck up you out here making horse medicine smoothies you ain't smarter than nobody bro you dumb as fuck about this one you need to take you need to take your loss on this motherfucker had a 30 minute call with ESPN talking about I'm being silenced motherfucker you had a 30 minute call with ESPN saying this dumb shit you know what I'm saying like bro it was it was it was a night for the ages, <laughs> and, and they lit his ass up, bro. My barber don't even fuck with ivermectin. God damn, <laughs> he's lost the barbers. <laughs> and that speaks that that's that's all I need to say. But I didn't watch no motherfucking football. But you know, what I mean, if the barber ain't fuck with ivermectin, <laughs> you know, if that cohort is anti ivermectin, bro, you wildin', G. You can't be further out. <laughs> <laughs> in your takes <laughs> on science and medicine than John's barber. Right, right. <laughs> uh, Tyler, you tweeted something. I wanted, I'm curious for your opinion on this. You feel like, because I know you were always one of those people, one of the people in the media. <laughs> I'm a media guy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the <laughs> media. <laughs> <laughs> but you were always someone, and I agreed with you, to be clear, who was like, Aaron Rodgers, he's won one Super Bowl. But in terms of talent, he's the most talented quarterback I've seen. And you said last night kind of changed that for you a little bit. And I think you were kind of putting Pat Mahomes ahead of him now. What, what, what were your thoughts on that? And I'm always curious about that. Like, when does performance or championships like where does that intersect with talent because they're obviously different conversations but but this one kind of changed it for you yeah i I mean i want to say last night changed it for me it's um mahomes has i thought mahomes is is, has been perhaps the most talented quarterback i've seen in my life for a couple years now you know what i'm saying so so my whole shit was this you can't put aaron Rodgers in the goat conversation right The, the the postseason resume isn't stellar enough to do that you know what i mean um, you, you, you know, and I, like, like you said, I've been saying for years, he's the most talented quarterback I've ever seen, but he might not even have that distinction anymore with, with how ridiculous Pat Mahomes is. So it's like, bro, you're not in the go conversation. There's a good chance you're not the most talented quarterback we've ever seen anymore. Motherfucker, you can go. Like, like there's nothing else that we need to discuss about you, bro. You can get your shit and leave. You feel me? So, so you're yeah, not that's kind of where I'm at with Rodgers. You're just yeah. an asshole, right? Exactly. <laughs>